we got an update on the upcoming Transformers and G.I. Joe crossover. And if you thought that they weren't going to do anything with the ending of Rise of the Beasts, well, you would be wrong because they will be following up on that one way or another. So in case you missed it, but you probably didn't, the ending of the most recent Transformers film reveals that the organization that's working to uncover what's going on on Earth and also tracking Transformers is the G.I. Joes. And they are currently recruiting, and it looks to be the early days of the Joes. Now, obviously, there's been talk about a G.I. Joe reboot. There's been talk of more Transformers. And, well, the man in charge of both brands, a.k.a. Lorenzo Di Bonaventure, hopefully I said his name right, recently told Comic Book, among other outlets, that one way or another... They are going to follow up on that cliffhanger and revelation. Whether it's more G.I. Joes first, more Transformers, and or placing Joes in the Transformers to continue that and then get to the G.I. Joe reboot, we will see that story continue and be followed up on. And if it leads to a crossover film, we're going to have to wait and see, but obviously they are planting the seeds for that. Perfect. That's pretty much everything we need to know that they're not abandoning the idea and that they're gonna follow through with it now my personal hope is transformers rise of the beast sequel happens jump a couple years into the future have the joes a little bit more established using transformer tech building it out and then in the sequel use a decepticon that's getting help or the Decepticons that are getting help from a new organization that's been on the rise, Cobra. Put a couple notable Cobra agents in there. I don't know, maybe Destro. He's selling tech. Decepticon tech, right? There you go. You got an in, and then you follow up on that with a G.I. Joe film, and then the crossover. Take it slow, a step at a time, and get there in a good way. You know, sort of use... Rise of the Beast as your Godzilla 2014, or was that 2013? I can't remember. And then the next one, a little bit more, and then another prequel showing up what happens with the Joes and the Cobra Rise, and then the crossover. You got a natural way without having to rush too many things.